Welcome to the Counselor Overview for tracking hearing aid sales. In this overview, we're going to review a few different areas of Counselor where you can see specific data on hearing aid sales and dive deeper to find additional details if you wish. So we'll start here within the dashboard and we're going to look initially at two dashboard widgets. Uh, first, the sales dashboard widget and the units. These dashboard widgets really go together because they're representing, of course, the same data set and can give you a very quick uh, but very accurate real-time assessment as to what is happening uh, regarding uh, hearing aids as well as other uh, types of sales, you know, products and services that are being provided uh, through your practice. So within these uh, dashboard widgets, of course, you can choose the type, uh, the line item type you wish to select. I've already gone ahead here and selected hearing aid, but if you want to look at overall sales, of course, you could do that as well. But we're going to focus on hearing aids here, both for sales and for units. You can search by uh, a filter, I should say, by specific staff members if you wish, or full staff. You can also filter by the year. And then, of course, within the year, then we'll see the individual months. Within the individual months, you can break out that information if you have multiple locations. So once again, very quickly, right from your dashboard, you can get highly detailed information uh, across locations if you have them, across staff or individually, uh, and you can look over different time periods uh, very easily if you wish as well. Now, uh, these the data sets are, of course, also downloadable. So uh, if you want to download the month of January, right, you click right here. If you wish to download for the entire year, you would click up here in the top right-hand corner. Okay? Uh, so these really give you, once again, a real-time assessment of what's happening uh, in your practice regarding, in this specific example, uh, the sales of hearing aids. Now, to piggyback on that, we're going to go up to biz business in the top menu bar, and then we're going to look over here on the right side uh, where it says hearing aid sales summary and hearing, aids, uh, hearing aid sales detail. Uh, I should note that the total sales summary also can be used for much of this tracking. Uh, so if you have any questions there, I do encourage you to watch the total sales summary overview as well. Uh, but for this overview, we're really going to focus specifically on the uh, reports that are designed for hearing aid tracking. So first, we'll click here on hearing aid sales summary. Now, there's quite a few options when you first bring this screen up. So it's a little bit noisy, but it gives you a ton of flexibility to get to the data that you need. Uh, so once again, you can separate out, if you happen to have, different kind of groups of hearing aids. In this case, we have a group specifically for TPAs. This would be a line item type that's designated for TPAs versus uh, private pay or managed care. You may want to have separate types. Uh, so point being in this example, I'm going to say show us all the data, right? But you could certainly split this out and just see your TPA sales if that is important. Um, and for those of you not aware the TPA, I'm referring to third-party administered plans. Okay. Uh, and of course, you can choose different options here, your payer type, you can pick style, technology, uh, you can, you know, how this is grouped, and then very importantly here, the date range. So uh, it, by default, it will go uh, year to date, but you certainly can modify this as needed. So I'll leave this here as year to date. Then of course, you can choose specific uh, manufacturers uh, that you wish to, uh, to look at. You can, uh, if you have multiple locations, you can pick specific clinics. You can choose a region uh, if you wish, if you have those set up. Uh, you also can uh, select individual staff members, a subset of staff members, or full staff. In this case, I'll leave it at full staff. And then we'll click Run Report. Now, when I scroll down here, we're going to see, what we're going to see is a summary. So it starts off here with the uh, gross sales. So here's the gross uh, total units, total sales, uh, gross ASP. And then as we go down the line, we're looking at net, right? So net uh, unit sales, ASP. Then we get into returns, return percent, exchanges, cancellations, and binaural rate. So just like that, very quickly, you once again have some very high, highly detailed real-time data on your hearing and sales. Now, if you want to review this further, each one of these areas has the related data that, that was used to comprise this. So here we can see, once again, the unit sold. This would be a gross unit sold. Uh, you can, you know, show a... Um, uh, is it view this uh, in a graph format, if you wish, right? In a pie chart, I should say. Uh, you can scroll down. You know, here we can see once again. Now here's net, that same information. Uh, now we can see returns and returns by manufacturer percent, right? So some of this can help you just stay on top of trends in your uh, in your practice, right? So you can see over time what's happening. Uh, you can also spot issues if you find, for example, there's a very high exchange rate, maybe for one manufacturer. And then you could drill down and you could say, oh, let's look at this a little further. Let's look at that one manufacturer um, and maybe we'll try to find out if it's a certain location or a certain provider where we're seeing this. 
So very quickly, you can get to that answer and say, oh, it looks like in this one location, during this one month, this one provider had a very high exchange rate. I want to check in with that provider and maybe find out what may have happened, right? Instead of having this sort of general number where you, you can't place any specificity on it. So this tool can really let you see high level and then dive down into the details. Now, if you scroll further, once again, we're going to see information on cancellations. Uh, binaural rate as well is here. Okay. So that is, once again, the hearing aid sales summary. Let's look at that same approach just from the detail report. So if we click here, what we're going to see, I missed my click there, there we go. We're gonna see the hearing aid sales detail report, okay? Uh, same kind of initial uh, decisions that you can make here based on uh, the specific filters that you wish to have. Once again, I'll leave this just kind of wide open and click one, run report. And now we're gonna see is really that same exact data we just saw a moment ago in the summary report, except for this time, and in fact, the, these, this uh, top portion is gonna be exactly the same, except for now we can see the detail, right? So if you wanna look at each fitting and look at the details, okay, what was the fitting date, trial date, expiration, was there return, right? So you can start going through, and then if you wanna see just the returns, if you wanna see just the exchanges, uh, perhaps just the cancellations, you can do so. And with each one of these tables, of course, there is the ability to download uh, this into a spreadsheet if you need to for any reason. So once again, this is another area that really helps you dive in and see uh, very specific information very, very quickly. Now, to go to another level here, of course, Counselor also has invoice, uh, I'm sorry, just business report generators in general. And these can be used if you find that the data that's being provided through some of these, you know, somewhat preset reports, the hearing and sales summary and detail, those dashboard widgets I showed you at the outset. If you find there, there's other questions you have that aren't currently being answered, the business report generators go a long way to help with that. And so just to give you a quick example, let's jump here into the line item report generator. Of course, there's ways to set up filtering within these areas. Um, there's the ability to kind of slim this down. If you say, you know what, I don't need all of these categories or columns, I should say. I just need eight of them, right? You can pick the columns you need. You can set up uh, scheduled uh, reports. So you can say what the specific interval is, who's going to receive the report. And what happens then is a counselor just takes the pref your preferences, you know, your settings, and it just keeps running that report based on, on the scheduled interval you selected. And then it delivers it as a spreadsheet <coughs> into the report pickup area. So that way, if you say, let's run this report weekly, you're literally just popping into Counselor after that report is run, and you can see that spreadsheet. But you know it's being run at the exact same time every week in the, in the example I gave. Okay. Um, so if you do have any questions about setting up scheduled reports and uh, report generator templates, there is a video specifically on that as well. So I'd encourage you to watch uh, the business report generator and scheduled reports tutorial videos. Uh, but of course, we're always happy to address any questions that you have on that topic. And of course, in general, if you have any questions about how to utilize uh, the hearing aid sales reports uh, and track your hearing aid related sales, uh, of course, give us a call, email us, live chat with us. We are always happy to help. So thank you very much for joining us for the utilizing uh, hearing aid sales summary overview and have a wonderful day.